ever get the feeling sometimes that something just isn't meant to be? Like the pieces aren't just fitting together and you decide maybe you need to do something else? Well, I had a particular instance like that just last week. So I was down in St. Louis for my seminary training and me and one of the other guys from Texas had decided, you know what, we should see a hockey game while we're down there. Maybe our week won't be too bad, maybe we'll have time to get to a game. So we bought tickets and on Tuesday night we went down to try to see a Blues game. So we got down there about 6.40, plenty of time to find a parking spot and get into the stadium. Well, there was no place to park anywhere. So we started driving around in blocks and blocks and had looked and we pulled into one lot and the attendant said, nope, sorry, sir, we're full. And then we found another lot right by the stadium. We said, okay, great, cars are still going in there. Certainly we're going to be able to park. Well, they told us that this was parking for people who had prepaid something that we obviously didn't plan ahead or do. So after driving around a little bit longer, the game was already through most of the first period at this point, we began to look at each other and say, maybe this just isn't meant to be. Maybe we should just go back and work on our homework. Well, we drove one more block and then there was this electronic sign on a skyscraper a number of blocks away and it said, watch the blues on Valley Sports. <laughs> we kind of took that as the message that we needed we were not going to see this hockey game that night. After driving around trying to park for a full hour, we gave up. We headed back to our hotel and we worked on our homework. See, that's the truth of life here in this sinful world is things are gonna happen all the time that just aren't meant to be. We're gonna make plans, we're gonna figure things out and it's not going to work out for us. But we do have something important in control in those situations how we respond. See, in one of those parking garages, we came across another individual, a dad who said he was trying to go to the game with his two kids, but he wasn't saying it so politely. He was actually screaming and yelling at the parking attendants. He could not believe that there was not a parking spot for him. Well, guess what? His yelling, it didn't help. They didn't say, oh, sorry, sir, you're yelling at us. We will allow you to park right here. That's fine, no big worry. You go in with your kids. See, in that moment, that man was not setting the best example for those kids in the back seat. See, we can't control when things happen like this, but we can control how we respond. So in our lives, when these things happen, what should we do? Well, one thing we could do is go to church. Because church is the place that we hear God's word. It's the place that we are reminded all the things that God has done throughout the scriptures in this world, all done for mankind. The second thing we can do is we can pray. <laughs> in that moment, I wasn't really praying for parking, but I was certainly praying for patience, which I was able to keep. I also didn't run the rental car into something, uh, which I could have as I'm trying to look for a lot at a parking spot and all these different things going on. The third we, thing we can do is just to make sure to keep our attitude in check. I, there wasn't anything that I was going to be able to do to get that parking spot, but I certainly could still show grace and love to other people while I was going through that situation. I, I think actually my kids at home when they heard the story were more mad for me than I actually was. Because instead I just went back to the hotel and I got into God's word and I did my homework. And that's the other thing. We all need that reminder. We need that reminder that God's word is an amazing blessing. The scriptures are exactly that, this amazing blessing that's been given to us because it's in that way that God works. When we hear his word, he is continuing to work in our lives and show us and illuminate us all the things that he continues to do. So there's gonna be that next time when something just doesn't seem to work out, the puzzle pieces don't fit. Just remember that we still have a God who's very much in control. We have a God who loves us and is caring for us and is going to continue to guide us forward. Whether we go to hockey games or we find parking spots, 